Let's check out how to extend Logic Pro X to your iPhone with the Logic Pro Remote. Download the Logic Pro X Remote app from the App Store if you haven't already done so. You can see here that I've already downloaded the app. Next, you'll be prompted to connect to an instance of Logic Pro X. Make sure all your devices are turned on and connected to the internet and that Logic Pro X is launched on the device intended. To get to the Logic Remote settings, click on the gear icon in the upper right hand corner. The Logic Remote settings allow you to select which Logic Pro X session you'll be connecting to. It will also allow you to turn on the help. It will allow you to toggle on coaching tips. And the last one is the most useful one because you'll probably want to keep your iPhone on during different parts of production. Once you connect to Logic Pro X, you'll be taken to this screen. Now, by clicking on the right and left hand arrows on the top of my iPhone, I can adjust which track I'm working on, and you can see that I can adjust the levels here as well. When you flip your phone, you'll be presented with a wide range of menu options to perform actions on the track that you've selected. If your phone screen won't rotate, pull down on the upper right hand side of your phone and turn off the portrait orientation lock like this. By clicking on the down arrow in the upper left hand side, you'll be presented with a menu list of options. The menu options will differ depending on what type of track you have selected. These are the options I have available for the drum kit that I have selected. Now I'll select the keyboard track and you'll see that the options are slightly different. Further down in that list is the ability to choose the option of which instrument you'd like to perform with. Here I'll show you how to switch between a drum kit and drum pads. And by far the coolest thing to do with the remote app is to actually perform on the instruments. Thanks very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below.